guys welcome back to another video and today we're gonna be doing another tier list all right so i haven't updated my tier list in a long time um the last time i updated the tier list was when atlas came out so now yuzhong we're updating it on the yuzhong patch if you're watching this this is the yuzhong patch all right it's not gonna be um what's his name the khalid patch after this i'm pretty sure khalid is gonna um gonna be released or bart one of those um, so let's keep going. Introduction. This is pretty much just saying that this is based off my ex experience in the solo, dual Q, trio Q, and even in five man Mexico Glory Elo. And I have been keeping track of what the professional teams are, are picking and prioritizing. Um, I kind of stock them in a way to see which heroes are really you know worth using um, in tournaments and even in solo queue. So let's keep going. Um, tier list explanation. If their names are on green, they're pretty easy to use. Yellow, medium difficulty. And if their names are on red, they are the hardest heroes to master or to use, right? So um, the tier list will go from S tier, which is the highest. They are the best um, heroes in that current um, tier list. But D tier is going to be the lowest, all right? Weakest in the current patch. So let's keep going. The first um, tier list that we're going to look at is the Marksman tier list. Um, so S tier is still going to go to Claude. Even with the nerf, I noticed that Claude is still picked as a funnel hero pretty often and he is still ban worthy honestly um, I thought at first after the nerf I was like okay his damage early game significantly got lowered um, but he is still really really strong and super super annoying um, Kimmy got nerfed but it was only her range so she is still pretty strong um, Kari got nerfed a bunch and um, Kari used to be S tier actually on my last uh, tier list but now she's gonna go down to A tier because um, she got nerfed a bunch and she's not as good as before. Wan Wan got nerfed a couple times. Bruno got nerfed as well. Now, for Roger, um, you're not going to see him getting picked as often. But a lot of people are doing the funnel Roger kind of thing. And it's pretty scary if he gets fed and gets online. So Roger's going to be an A tier. Granger's still pretty decent. And the revamp Eason Shin will go, will go from C tier to A tier. The revamp Eason Shin is being used. They're actually being used pretty often. Um, in tournaments, uh, from what I have seen, he is used in some team comps. Um, I haven't made my research yet to what team comps he's good against, but he is a really good pair with Farsa, from what I've noticed. Like Farsa ulti and then Yisen Shin ulti, it's really hard to dodge everything. All right, so B tier will still go to Clint, Hanabi, Moskov, Irito, and Leslie. C tier will go to Mia, and D tier will go to Layla. Hopefully, after the revamp for Layla and Mia, um, I heard they're gonna get revamped. Um, they could go up a tier, but we'll see. Um, that patch hasn't gone out yet, so. Um, next tier list, Mage Core Tier List, alright? So th these are mages. Um, let's not focus on the um, support tier list first. Um, a lot of these mages are being used as support right now, but um, we'll try to treat these, this tier list as, you know, if someone was to go mid lane and try to um, play these mages, mage heroes as a core, um, that's what we're gonna judge him based as, all right? So Farsa is still actually really good, but mostly she is used as a support. Um, when people are sieging tower, she ulties, and then it's pretty hard to clear minions while Farsa is throwing bombs at you. Selena is still a ban worthy right now, um, almost ban every single tournament games. Esmeralda as well, um, she's being used in a, as an off lane. She she can also be used as a funnel um, Esmeralda, and she's still good. Um, for Harith, I have seen some, a couple of Harith funnels lately. Um, I was really questioning whether I would put Harith on S tier or A tier. Maybe I should have put Harith on A tier, honestly. Um, he's not as good as th these three heroes. Um, but going down to A tier, we have Lunox. Lunox um, mid lane is actually not bad. Gushin mid lane is not bad. Kagura mid lane is not bad. Zas is pretty annoying, honestly. But people um, have used Zas as a support, and it, it it freaking hurts, man. If Zas gets online, it is so hard to deal with. And if the Zas is actually good at positioning um, his towers, it is insane. Now for Lilia, maybe I should have put Lilia in B tier. It's it's like a close B tier for Lilia, honestly. But I got really generous and gave Lilia uh, an A tier because her early game is still pretty good. Um, Valir is being used as a support like majority of the time. But if you use him as a core, he's actually pretty decent and he, he still hurts. Um, he does really good damage over time because his first skill can just reset and reset if you if you aim it really well. Changi is just okay. Cecilian, if you get to late game, obviously super okay. But Cecilian is also used as support right now. And once you get to late game, Cecilian gets um, gets his stacks and he hurts. His, yeah, he hurts like hell. B tier goes to Gord. Kadita gets used as a support as well. Odette, uh, Alice, Nana, Cyclops, Harley, Guinevere. There's no changes here, honestly. 
most of these guys pretty much stayed the same um, so let's go on to the next tier list okay so this one's gonna be the assassin tier list Ling got buff so obviously Ling is gonna be ban worthy still S tier Selena is still up there being used to support but as a core she still she could be good as well Helkert is also ban worthy now Lancelot is has been really good lately so um, Lancelot used to be B tier from what I know um, and now is gonna go out go up to A tier Natalia is still banned but uh, she's being used as support right now um, she's not picked as often since there's a lot of AoE damage just to show where Natalia is gonna be um, Hayabusa has been good lately if you do Haya Funnel so uh, she he is really strong even though the enemy team is grouped up as, as soon as he can ult and has um, Heptasis Endless Battle Blade of Despair he can literally kill a core even if, even if that core groups up with his teammates. It's pretty insane. Um, I was actually wondering whether I would put Gushan on B tier or A tier. It was a really close B tier honestly. Um, but we'll keep him A tier. Hanzo used to be S tier but he went down to B tier since after the nerf he's not used as often. Can't really do as well before um, before the nerf. Alright Fanny's still hard to play so she's gonna, she's gonna stay in B tier. Leslie is considered an assassin by the game, so I put her in B tier. Um, if you do funnel Leslie, I have seen a couple of it. It is actually not bad. Really hard part about her is her mobility and survivability. Lapu Lapu is considered an assassin as well by the game, so she's gonna uh, he's gonna stay B tier. Karina is gonna stay B tier. C tier will go to Zilong and Alucard. Um, Saber is gonna get revamped soon, so we'll see if Saber will come up a tier after the revamp. Um, but that is it for the assassin core tier list. For the tank tier list, most most likely um, for the S tier, we have Grok, Kufra, and Atlas. I was really close to putting Grok into A tier because Kufra and Atlas are pretty much the tanks that are being prioritized right now in tournaments from what I've noticed. Um, so yeah, it was a real close A tier for Grok. Now for A tier, we have Akai. Akai is really good at peeling. Boxy is good against a, um, a lot of uh, sustain heroes. Lolita is still good against like Lunox, Claude with a shield, Granger with a shield. Uh, Gatot with the revamp. Uh, Gatot used to be B tier, I believe. Now I put him up on A tier after the revamp. He can actually play off lane. Um, that's probably one thing I forgot to update in this um, this list is Gatot off lane. I should have included it. I just remembered just now. Um, but as a tank, Gatot is actually really good. Um, he goes to A tier. Hylos will go up to A tier as well. Um, Hylos was a really close S tier. Really close S tier. Um, you could switch this two apart because technically Hylos is better than Grok because Hylos counters Grok. But from what I see, whenever people when people ban Hylos, they just lock in Grok. As long as there's no Hylos, Grok is super super good. Um, Carmilla tank is still okay. Chu tank, all right. So people are starting to play Chu tank again after the Chu nerf. Um, Chu offlane is still good, obviously, but I have seen some pro teams do. Um, tank Chu again and it's, it is actually still good alright so B tier will go to Belric Belric used to be A tier but the new Belric I just is, is not that good even if you try to pick, pick Belric um, when the enemy team has Claude he is not that his impact is you can't really notice his impact too much Johnson B tier Tigreal B tier Franco B tier Minotaur B tier um, C tier um, Esmeralda is considered a tank by the game so I put Esmeralda in here same with Masha so they're gonna be C tier so for Uranus, as a tank, Uranus is really bad. Um, as a tank, Bauman is really bad. As a tank, Hilda is really bad. But as offlaners, obviously, they're going to be a little bit different. All right, so let's move on. Fighter offlane, Yu Zhang, this new hero, is actually insane. This is a ban-worthy hero. Um, he is a priority pick by, like, pro teams as well and even in solo queue. Um, so Yu Zhang is definitely S tier. Esmeralda is prioritized as well, get banned often. Uranus is still S tier, um, Thamos is still S tier, Thamos is freaking insane even after the nerf. Um, I was really close to putting Jawhead into A tier. Yeah, it's like a borderline A tier, S tier. So I, I got really generous in putting Jawhead in S tier. Um, I put Chu on A tier because um, after the nerf, obviously. He's not as good as these heroes right here. Like if, if Chu tries to 1v1 Thamos, you will get harassed so hard. Same with Uranus, same with Esmeralda, same with Yu Zhang. And actually, same with um, for Jawhead, they are like you could interchange them. Um, since Jawhead was a close A tier, Chu was a close S tier as well. Since I put Jawhead on S tier, um, if you match up against a Jawhead wh when you're playing Chu, it is pretty much an equal matchup. Um, I don't think there's an advantage for any. It just depends on how you play it. Um, Roger uh, offlane is still okay. Badang offlane. 
obviously but Dang it was pretty close to going to B tier same with Teresla was pretty close to going to B tier these two right here really close to going to B tier um, Leomard as well Leomard was really close to going to B tier but I, I got there's so many fighter heroes that it was really hard for me to just derank them right away and there's too many people in B tier right so I don't want to fill in everybody in B, uh, B tier and it's gonna it's not gonna fit the screen so I put Whoever is in A tier, um, like, since it doesn't fit on B tier, so that's what I meant. <laughs> so now Sylvana is still pretty good, pretty decent. X Borg is actually borderline S tier. Um, X Borg is being prioritized right now as well. Um, Masha got buff. All right, so people use Masha to counter the Uranus pick because Masha counters Uranus. Masha's first skill can literally melt Uranus at level one. Freya is actually pretty good against Chu. But other than that, like against Esmeralda and against Yu Zhang, I think Freya has some bit, like really hard time killing these heroes right here because they have so much sustain. And Jawhead has his throw. If if Freya comes into Jawhead, Jawhead just throws him away, throws her away. So that's why I put Jawhead over the Freya. But there's a couple of pro players that play Freya super super freaking well. Now let's go to B tier. Alpha is gonna get buffed soon, so hopefully we see him go up the tier list. But for now, in this current patch, he's gonna stay in B tier. Martis, B tier, Dyroth, Bane, Ruby got buff, but um, she's still not as good as these heroes on top. Hilda got buff as well, but she is still not as good as these heroes on top, I would say. Faramis offlane is still a thing, but not as good. Lapu Lapu, Guinevere offlane, um, they're just okay, alright? So C tier, this is where you, it's really hard to offlane. Uh, Aldous gets freaking bullied early game. Argus um, is not that good, Zilao is not that good, Sun obviously, Alucard, and Bauman. Bauman used to be in D tier, is now go to C tier after the buff. Um, he does deal more damage and he has a little bit more sustain but that doesn't really change anything. His skills are still the same, he doesn't have any CC. Um, Mintitar will go at D tier for offlaners, okay? So now we'll go to the support tier list. These are all very, very situational because um, for supports, they pretty much pick whatever support will do good against the enemy team comp. Like for example, if the enemy team has a Claude, Aurora would be really good to freeze the Claude when he ulties. Um, but right now, from what I've noticed, Selena's really prioritized. Leoi, Leoi is even more prioritized than Valir from what I know. Uh, and also that is another thing that I forgot probably. Leoi at the mage tier list. Um, I would put him on um, A tier most likely, A tier for the mage tier list. Farsa is still used in uh, the support tier list. So these are the um, priority picks right here. Kaja gets banned in Leoi. Well, Leoi is picked often in tournaments from what I've noticed. Doesn't get banned. Um, Selena gets banned more often than Leoi. Kaja gets banned a lot. Um, same with Valir and Nat. So these, these four right here, these four, they get banned really often. And they're really situational. Depends, like some heroes do good against other team comps than others. So A tier goes to Rafaela. I was really close to putting Rafaela to B tier, but she still has a lot of potential with her roaming on her heels and her sustain and her stun with her ulti. Estes goes to A tier. Minotaur goes to A tier. Lalita A tier. Kagura support is actually pretty good right now. I have seen a lot of people in Indo um, in tournaments using Kagura support and Malaysia, Singapore, MPL. Um, Aurora is used as well to counter the Claude. People also ban Aurora if they are gonna pick the Claude. Carmilla's support is still pretty good. Angela used to be in C tier, but a lot of people are using Angela to actually funnel the Ling and uh, Yu Zhang. Alright, so people do Angela Yu Zhang combo or Angela Ling combo, which is super super good. Diggy is only used when there's like an Atlas on the other team. Nana is used when there's like a freaking Kufra on the other team. Um, but not good against Grok. Sicilian is used um, if they if the enemy team doesn't have any gap closers. So if the enemy team doesn't have like Lancelot or they don't have Ling, Sicilian's pretty decent. If you see Oh My Venus is Sicilian, it's actually pretty insane. Um, especially late game, you could one shot heroes as a support. Last tier, uh, last tier is Eudora, Kadita, Vexana, and Faramis. Uh, they're gonna go down to B tier. All right. So if you have any other questions or if you have any feedbacks to the tier list, obviously comment that below. If you did learn something from this tier list, um, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Um, I will update it as soon as I see another big hit on the meta, alright? So I don't really update it often, but I update it every big hit on the patch or uh, on the hero, whatever. If the meta changes like a lot, then that's when I change the tier list, all right? So this is the current tier list I have. Um, if you have any concerns with it, if you don't agree with me, that's, that's fine. 
um, you can put your opinion down below but hopefully it's respectful uh, in a respectful way in the comment section that is it guys um, for the video today and uh, I am out peace, peace